Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today we're making a super cute Easter ribbon wreath. I used a 14 inch wreath ring from Dollar Tree. Nine spools of Dollar Tree ribbon, three different patterns. This I took off a Dollar Tree sign, hot glue, and zip ties. First thing I did was opened up one of the ribbons and measured it out about 31 inches. And then just cut it off and then took the rest of the ribbon and just matched it up with that one. After I had them all cut, I needed to fold them. I start measuring the first piece five inches and then folding it at five inches and then folding it back and forth until it makes this shape. And I did that with all of them. After you have them all um, cut out and folded, you should have 24 pieces within the three different patterns. You'll put the wreath ring upside down and you'll put the three folds in between each of the openings in the wreath ring. Put a zip tie through so it'll be around the middle two um, pieces on the frame. And then you'll zip tie around those middle two pieces of the frame and the bunched up end of that ribbon. Just cut off the excess. You don't need to use such large zip ties. It's just all I had on hand. So once you have that through and zip tied, you can open it up and it'll look like that. And then take another pattern of ribbon and push that through as well putting the zip tie again around the middle two, pinch together the end of the ribbon and zip tie it to the frame. So it'll start looking like this once you have them opened. Now I'm just opening them ahead of time just to show you what they'll look like, but when I fill it in, I don't open them up until the end. So once filled in and open, it'll look like that in each section. You'll fill in the rest, doing four pieces of ribbon within each section of the wreath ring. Once it's all filled in, each section is filled in, you'll have 24 pieces. And then you'll go and flip it over and open all the ribbon up so it's nice and full. And then I'm gonna add this little sign I had from one of the projects I did. I removed it from one of their hanging 
cutting board signs, which I had found in the Easter section. And then I just flipped it over and glued on one of the pieces of ribbon I had left. And I just made sure to glue all the way down to the very bottom and the very top, making sure it was on there all the way. Now this is just for me, so the back of the sign is a little messy with all that paper from being ripped off the other sign, but it's just for me, so I didn't really care too much about it. So I lined it up in the center, just making sure it was going to look nice. Wrapped the ribbon around the inner part of the ring on the top and the bottom. Pulled them together and then just zip tied them together and cut off the excess. I just went through and opened the rest of the ribbons up so it was nice and full again. And that is it. Super, super easy and inexpensive, but looks really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.